Hey, hey, and welcome back. Yes, this is. Uh, I took a very small. Uh, where is it? <clears throat> break. Because I had to refresh my computer for a moment. So, um, yes, and enough about Godzilla. Yes, I think I've ranted on that for a few minutes. Yes. But I really have to say, I miss some good movies. And if you want to know how to make a good movie for fans, not only just for the mainstream, but for both. The mainstream, because you need the mainstream money to make movies like this, dear Hollywood. And um, even though some of the diehard fans don't like to hear this, but you need, you know, when you make a movie that's 150 million, 170 or like, you know, the Avengers Endgame, it's like 300, what was it, 68 million. And just imagine how much they put into advertisement, how much money. Of course, you need a big mainstream media or mainstream people who who actually come to see and not only <clears throat> the nerds and the diehard fans because that wouldn't be you know enough tickets you can sell but i think endgame for instance like the especially the avengers movies all of them starting with your sweden showed that you can actually make um really great superhero actiony movies you know um that do both you know they um, are interesting enough for a big audience and uh, they are um, good for the for the diehard fans and those nerds who know all the little things, you know, about their characters or whatever, or about the whatever the story they based the idea on, you know. Um, so Marvel shows that it is possible, yeah, to make a movie that makes... 2.7 billion dollars and um, is for the diehard nerd and the action fan yeah so if anybody I, I think they will listen Hollywood always listens when I tape um, and always watches my channel because they know that sometimes I talk about these things and they think oh we have to listen to him because his name is Herr Göteborg <laughs> and uh, so we have to listen so if Hollywood is listening Hollywood, please hear me. Make good movies. Make good movies for fans and for the mainstream. And make a go good Godzilla movie and give us some good Godzilla fighting. Yes, enough about that. Um, all right, now it's burger time. Yes, finally, in I think this will be this is episode 120. We finally have are preparing cheeseburgers, which I think is absolutely fantastic to do. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All right, let's see. Okay, now we have cheese. Uh, yes. We have enough milk. Yes, soy milk. That's, by the way, one of my favorite jokes from... I don't know if you know Louis Black. Yeah. There is no soy milk because there is no <laughs> no soy titty. And <laughs> when I heard this the first time, I just screamed. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because you need a teat, I think it's called, when you want to have milk. That's his idea, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Yeah. Just me. Just, yeah. So, but we have soy milk here. It's not as he, and he's, I think he's right. Because he said in this comedy special, he said about soy milk, he said it's soy juice. It's not a milk. Yeah. So let's take soy juice or milk to make cheese, soy cheese. And then we make, of course, our cheeseburger. Yeah. And uh, I hope you didn't hear this, but there was an ambulance <laughs> driving by. Yeah. I should make a <laughs> I should make a soundproof room, but since I'm not a professional live streamer or a uh, YouTuber, and this is just a hobby, I don't think I should invest in that. And before I do that, by the way, because sometimes you hear sounds from the surrounding things here, where I live. Um, yes, come on, drive faster. Yes. It's, by the way, it's a Sunday. Nobody's on the streets at all. So you don't have to make that noise. 
Alright, so let's see. Um, yes. Okay. Um, yes, hamburgers coming. Hamburgers coming. Um, all right. Yes, tofu and toast. Well, that's great. That's great. <laughs> that's great. Yes. I know you, there is a not a really, but you can actually do this all in um, automatically, so that you can actually really have like a corn field that what is it chucks the corn and makes. Then you can get this into the next machine where you will have bread and then from there into the toasting part you can do all that like a big machine at the end you have um the burgers but i think cooking shouldn't be um that technical it should be like this you have a pan and you have bread of course you don't do this but we need a pan to make the burgers yes so now as you can see, we're making hamburgers, and maybe we do this for the next 30 episodes, so that we, hey, give me my pan back, so that we have enough, but let's see, um, that we can actually make a few of those, that would be great, um, yeah, uh, Oh, my chair. <laughs> that wasn't my chair. This was my my back. Yeah. Um, do we have? Yes. Look, <laughs> I love the fact that this little a little fella. When you have this open the gui here, uh, you can see him move all the way where you. I love it, yes, and he's watching you. I like this idea. It's one of those little ideas I really love about Minecraft. Whenever you open your like crafting menu and you see your little fellow there, he always follows you and is watching you very precisely to see what is he doing now. Yeah, great idea. I really love that idea. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um... I think about I, I think about <laughs> I think I talked about these so that's what I wanted to say that's what I wanted to say before there are certain um, I have no idea how to call them uh, there are certain was it a template or something I have no idea how to call this but there are things that when you can upgrade those um, chests with with uh, so that you can put like eight or I think with with emerald I think it's about 13 times the 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 stuff in in one draw yeah so i'm looking for these kind of like um upgrades um where i can actually find them and i have actually no idea where they um how, what they are called in english in german i would say uh, take the schablone but i don't think they're called schablone <laughs> in english yes so this is why i'm uh, actually I have to look it up. I think that's that's what I have to do. Um, otherwise, it won't, I won't find them. Or maybe I will find them someplace easily. I have no idea. Uh, all right, so let's make cheeseburgers as we're supposed to do. There is a cheese. Burger. Cheese. Burger. I do this now. Cheese. Burger. Cheese. Burger. Yes. So now we have normal burgers and we have not enough room because we can put four in there. So eight times four. We need those upgrades for the chests. Yeah, we need those. Yes. But I will find them. And when I have them, I will use them. I, I will use them. <laughs> I will use them. I will use them. Is this 8-4? No, we can make a few more there. Yes. Uh, but we also have to make... Um, 
Yes, now we take the lettuce and the tomatoes. Yes, and then we make, I think it's called royal cheeseburger or whatever. Yeah, we make them. But the problem is with those. There, deluxe, sorry. Deluxe cheeseburger. Yes, you see? Here you have four extra points and here you have, yes. When you eat two deluxe cheeseburgers, two, I think, you have like in the bar down there where you see where your stamina and your hunger is, you have um, doubled it, yes. But the, see, yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Palms Harvestcraft, for those, <laughs> by the way. Um, but the, the thing is, you can only have two of those. So this is why we need to upgrade our um, kitchen. What is it? Uh, what is it? A cabinet? What is it? It would be a long German word called Küchenschrank. <laughs> Um, you can try to Google that, Küchenschrank. <laughs> um, yeah, because we need more space here. That's that's not enough, yes. And I don't want to use the big boxes, the big, big drawers, because it doesn't look good from the, you know, proportions with the kitchen, yeah. Yeah, so. <sighs> yes. Look at this. No, we don't. Oh. We still have potato, uh, potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> yes. All right. Can we? No, we don't have space for bread. Huh. But we have our deluxe cheeseburgers. And I think we can put the potatoes to the compost. Compost, compost, compost. Yeah, I think we can do that. Yes. And we have one over there, yes. Wow, yes. And now... We have, officially, we have entered the cheeseburger land, the deluxe cheeseburger, cheeseburger land in Minecraft. Yes, we did. Yes, thanks for the applause. It's okay. No standing ovation. I know. It just took us 128 epis 120 episodes to get here. I know you're excited. Please. Be seated and calm yourselves. Yes. All right. Let's see. Nah, don't use that. It's always the same, yes. Um, do we have enough? Yes, but everything is here, but it's just eight stacks we can use, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, my back. That was not my back. That was still my chair. Yes. Why is this chair making so many noises? Because it's not a gaming chair. It's a normal chair. I don't have a gaming chair. And I don't have a camera. I don't have a camera. Let's be quiet and see the cheeseburgers. Come on. Yes, have you seen that? Yes, we made cheeseburgers. Yes. And we have salt. And now we take the salt and the milk we make some more, maybe some more cheese. 
How about that? Yes, so this was me with my sexy voice. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, yes, we need to make a little bit more cheese. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't do this in a whole episode. I have no idea, but I like doing stuff like this. <laughs> forever. Yes. I just like doing this forever. Yes. So now the cheese is in its place. Going back to the milk and the pot and the salt. And now we're about to make more cheese. Yes. Yes. All right, enough of that. Um, I think I like our kitchen a little bit. Yes, it doesn't look that functional, but hey, come on. I know that there are a lot of um, items, by the way, for a kitchen in DecoCraft when we use that, and we will use, uh, I think I said this before, for the kitchen, uh, we will use the sink. Uh, we don't. I don't want to use a fridge. I don't think I will use a fridge. I have no idea. Um, yeah, maybe it would be nicer because it would be a little bit more realistic to have cheeseburgers in a fridge, but or cheese in a fridge. But hey, come on. Um, yes, as you can see, we are cleaning out, cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning out. No, cleaning up. Sorry, because I think we have enough burgers now for now. And uh, there are soybeans. Look, I think it's great. And once we have the the upgrades, and uh, then we can actually put the stuff uh, uh, differently. Yes. And we need more wheat, as I can see. Wheat. Not weed. Wheat. By the way, why does it sound the same? Wheat and weed. I know it's written differently, but almost for a non-native speaker for me at least uh sometimes i think wow hey no freezes in here we're making cheeseburgers you shouldn't freeze on that uh i think we put the burgers on the uh, you will see um yes let's put the salt in there um yes there are the normal hamburgers um here we'll have the deluxe hey come here come close baby come close um yes and above the deluxe we have the cheeseburgers so yes yeah, so we always need to make enough hamburgers and cheeseburgers to then make the deluxe burger i like that <laughs> look how different they look yes yeah, it's nice, nice, nice. And of course, tomatoes and salad, so lettuce, as it as it's called. It's very healthy food here. Yes, I'm a good person. I don't know why I talk like this, but it's maybe it's just the heat. Maybe it's just the heat, like this. Yeah. Whoop whoop. All right. Um. And for those of you who ever saw one of my episodes, no, maybe you know that I like these sorting out parts. Yes. Oh, why are the soybeans down here? Um. All right, that's enough. We don't have no. Oh, well, we have enough space for the. Oh, no, yeah, these are for us. We don't have to put them away. Okay. Yes. So unbelievably, episode one hundred and twenty. And we finally have a small kitchen, and we finally have our cheeseburgers. Isn't this great? Yes. And that's what this episode will be called. Just purely, finally, cheeseburgers arrived, or something like this. Yes. I have to take a look. Um, okay. But I think I will cut this episode somewhere here, because that's nice to end this episode like this. So thanks, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.